Of all the truly wild places left on Earth, none are as majestic as the Arctic. The great thing about films like this is that they take us places that, you know, you can't get in your car and drive to the Arctic. This is such an intimate look at a vast place and the changes that are being made there have such implications for all of us down in the temperate world. In winter, 30 below is the norm. It's lovely weather for polar bear families. Come with us to the Arctic. Meryl Streep provides the voice, the Arctic provides the magic. Follow one extraordinary polar bear mother on the ultimate journey of love and survival. This is the team behind the living sea, dolphins, Everest, and now to the Arctic. There are over 20,000 polar bears in the world, and most of them are camera shy. You know, we've always wanted to do a film on the Arctic because of the larger-than-life landscapes, the iconic wildlife. But just six years ago, we, we felt like if we didn't start now, the Arctic would be very different five years from now. To photograph these reluctant film stars, John Downer uses clever robotic cameras, camouflaged in white. And so we cobbled together financing, and we started going out into the Arctic. And over a four-year time period, we were up there for eight months, uh, five expeditions. But it wasn't until the last expedition, when we went to this place called Svalbard, Norway, just nine degrees south of the North Pole, where we found this mother polar bear and her two cubs. And we really got to see what it's like to be a polar bear family in an environment that's changing rapidly every day. The bears were curious about the remote cameras. Well, what we try to do is take people to this location that they're not going to be able to visit on their own and ex have them experience uh, in a close way um, animal behavior, uh, polar bears, walrus, and caribou, uh, and what they go through during their year. They all wanted to know what made the cameras tick. Next year, we're coming back with stronger cases. It's wildlife, so you don't know what you're going to get until you're up there. But you know, there are so many challenges when it comes to making a film like this because A, it's in the Arctic, so it's really cold, but B, you're, you're filming in this IMAX film format where the cameras are about 400 pounds, you only have three minutes per roll and then you have to reload and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to reload and it costs about $1,000 per minute. But we film that way because it looks so incredible on a giant screen, the resolution is just perfect. Join us on a spectacular adventure and discover that nothing is stronger than the power of hope. That's all the time we have for this week's show. Thanks for yours. And we'll see you next time when Hollywood One-on-One -on -one takes you to the stars. Yeah.